Hey everybody, Kyle Weisenberger here. Uh, just getting ready to head out for the uh, first FLW Pro Circuit event at Sam Rayburn here in 2020. And uh, spent a lot of time in my garage this winter prepping and getting everything ready. And I think I finally have uh, everything ready now. So I just want to give you a walkthrough of kind of what equipment I have this year, kind of what my rig looks like, and um, kind of how I store all my stuff on the road. Um, once I leave for this first trip in Texas, uh, this truck won't, and boat won't be coming home until the fourth event. So I've got to pack everything that I think that I might need for the first three to four events. Um, and there's a lot that I need to take. So I've got some cool products. want to take you along on what I'm using this year. So first off this year, we are running the Nitro Z20. Uh, this is a 2020 model. And we're uh, powering it with the Mercury uh, new four-stroke Pro XS. And uh, it's a mean machine. This thing, I, I've had a chance to fish out of it at the end of the year, last, uh, last fall. Uh, running 24 pitch uh, Fury. We've got uh, dual power pole blades. Been running power poles for a long time. Great products. Um, now that we have them, it's hard to believe that we fished without them back in the past. So, um, awesome product. Running 12 inch uh, Atlas hydraulic jack plate. We are running Lowrance Electronics, and we have the Bass Boat Technologies dual mount up front here. Awesome product. I use these uh, these e -lock, Easy Locks uh, by DuraSafe here. Uh, helps protect them on the road. Makes it pretty easy. But we're running the uh, HDS 12s. Uh, these are the new units I just picked up at the end of last year. Running three of these linked together. I've got one at the front that does have the uh, new live sight. Uh, transducer and running hot foot in here um, as far as the dash panel it's pretty standard I'm not running the custom gauges or anything uh, this is just the standard dash panel from nitro um, what else we got up here so up front we've got uh, recessed trolling motor pedal running the Minn Kota uh, Ultrax with the spot lock uh, so just switched over to that this year and um, been very pleased with how it's performed so far. I've got a 52 inch shaft on that trolling motor. Um, life sight transducer here by Lowrance. Uh, so that basically shoots off at an angle right here at a 45 degree in front of the boat. A few things I do in here. So uh, I'm running a 36 volt trolling motor system. I'm running a uh, NOCO four bank charger. Charge all four, all four of my batteries. Got the power pole pumps mounted back there. <clears throat> and then here, the Nitro has this little tray. I put little fuses, uh, odds and ends, little things in here, just uh, if I absolutely need to get in here. These are my call, my call straps, extra proper inch, uh, super glue, things like that. Um, so my other two trolling motor batteries sit here. There's all the, the on off uh, to the main power. I made myself a kind of a custom prop holder right here with a just a little decking board and a carriage bolt, nice and secure in there. Um, and then my uh, cranking battery sits just back in the corner there. I had to move that over just a little bit. Um, all my flares, safety equipment, things like that, I actually have on this box right here that um, is kind of mounted right in between the batteries. In the back of the boat makes all this nice and tight and secure while making some uh, long boat runs uh, so that kind of takes us through the back of the boat we get to we got a custom net holder here nitro then has a little dry box that uh, you know you can put phone stuff like that in there uh, nice little instead of a seat it's a step and it uh, stays nice and dry in there and right so as we come to the front deck First off, we have the main compartment up front here. And this is where I keep most all of my terminal tackle, uh, crankbaits, uh, things that I think I'm going to use for a tournament. Kind of keep all that in here. Um, one thing I did do is I store a lot of my plastics in plastic bags. So this little tub is kind of some of the things I think I'm going to use maybe at a tournament. These are all individual bags of things that I might, you know, take from tournament to tournament. I can pull it out. Here's all my Magnum trick worms, you know, things like that. Um, 
I've got a whole plethora of those and I made this little shelf in my nitro here that I can actually pull up and I got a whole bunch more stuff underneath there. Uh, so kind of utilize the space a little bit more in the back here, um, but keep everything running nice and secure in there. Next up is the rod, the opposite of the rod compartment. So here's where I keep all my extra gamma line, life jacket, seat, um, lights, or all kinds of different plastics. I still have organized in bags, spinner baits, crank baits uh, that I'm not planning to use that are kind of like maybe I might need them in some of these boxes, uh, chatter baits, swim jigs, things like that. Uh, fire extinguisher, just odds and ends in there. And our rod compartment side is where we've got this thing stuffed full of different rods and reels headed to Rayburn. So um, there's probably, I don't even know, probably 25 to 30 rods in here, I'd guess, jammed in here. So um, we definitely got things ready to roll. So that's a walkthrough through uh, my Z20 and uh, looking forward to running it again this year. Um, been running Mercury for a long time. I've, I've been very pleased with the reliability, performance, and that new four stroke's nice to not have to put oil in after every day of practice pretty much and every day or every other day of a tournament. So um, next thing I want to show you is my tow, my tow vehicle and all the stuff that I plan to store, how I store it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be going for a long time, so you always want to take everything that comes to mind because the time that you leave something behind because you don't think you're going to need it, you end up needing it. So uh, I'll walk you through how I run um, the cover on the back of my truck and why I think it's very beneficial to use the kind that I use. So next is our, is our tow vehicle uh, running just the uh, Chevy Silverado 1500. and one addition that I've been running for years on the back of this truck is a Paragon truck bed cover. So if you guys haven't checked them out, basically what it is is a retractable uh, bed cover and it runs like an accordion. Um, so right now it's deployed all the way up. With the pull of a cord, I can make this thing fully con uh, concealed and enclosed and I can actually lock my tailgate here and I can actually lock the Paragon cover. So Here's a rundown of everything that I'm going to take on tour this year. So I basically have all these totes that I can uh, put in the back of the, of the truck and then cover with Paragon cover. I've got basically just a whole bunch of tubs of different plastic bins of different uh, soft plastics and um, you know different custom baits I may have. This bait, uh, this box just has all different uh, odds and ends as far as extra uh, hooks, terminal tackle, extra reels, all kinds of stuff up in here, spare plugs, things like that that I might need at different tournaments and these those are all new baits that basically haven't been used yet. Uh, another box where we're basically running through just organizing the different soft plastics. Uh, this one I'm storing extra line, uh, my Lowrance covers, I got my Cobra storage racks in there that uh, I might uh, put up from time to time just to help organize when I'm at a certain location. Got another box of soft plastics organized. Another box of soft plastics organized. Uh, here I run like my IOSO uh, cleaners and live oil treatments and everything in this tub. I've got my uh, cord for wherever I'm going to go. I've got uh, you know my chalks for the wheels. Um, just odds and ends, ropes, ratchets, anything that you might run into on the road, um, that's in that, that box. Um, then I just got a little cooler. So if we look in the back of this Paragon cover here, I can run a total of approximately nine bins back here. Okay. Okay, so the reason that I like to use this cover here is I can push all these tubs in that pretty much stay watertight. I can lock the tailgate and I can lock the actual cover. So basically this is what you gotta do. Comes with a, a string here. We basically are just gonna pull this through here. And there you go. So if you look here now we are completely enclosed. And I can shut the tailgate so we can put this cord back in here. 
after all my stuff's in here, we can shut uh, the tailgate. All right, now if I hit the lock, basically it's going to lock the tailgate, so that's concealed. Got a nice tight seal here. I mean, it's it's a good uh, good product here. And then we can actually pop this up, and we can lock inside the Paragon cover. So. Um, when it's not locked, basically this can be pushed down and this is how you deploy it. And then in just a matter of seconds, it's fully enclosed back or fully deployed uh, back. So, um, you know, check them out. It's, it's definitely been a big asset to me traveling on the road. Um, it's those Paragon covers, been using them for about the last 10 years. Uh, inside truck, so I've just got odds and ends in here. I'm not real packed up, just about ready. Got like an air mattress. Down here I've got drills, I've got a toolbox, a chain, jumper cables, anything that I can think of. So anyhow, um, that's my walkthrough of uh, what I'm going to be running this year. And uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos. And uh, I'll try to post a video after each event. So hopefully we can have a good season and uh, put some good content out there for you guys. And uh, appreciate you guys following along. Thanks.